Hello, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Safe Space. I go by Kimber. I usually don't introduce myself, so that was kind of weird. But I go by Kimber, and welcome to my channel. Um, let's go ahead and start you off with some affirmations here, Sag. Ooh, Sagittarius, how are you guys doing? Stepping into 2024, what is the energy? Where are we with our mind? Where are we putting our energy? Who are we spending our time with? Who are we giving our energy to? So with this Queen of Rod Rods, I kind of just wanted to put it there because I feel like that has been, that is the theme going into 2024, perhaps, or the energy that's just lingering around. Let's get this affirmation and let's just keep up with those deep breaths, you guys. One, 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 you may be seeing. I want to read to you guys the meanings, the key meanings of the of this card, the Queen of Rods. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Let's pull up another one. You're just about value here, Sagittarius. This is what the energy that I'm picking up. You're you're all about value. You're all about what you can gain and and not so much of like you know what you're losing, what our people are taking. This is all about like what you can gain from the people around you and, and the places you're in. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Your crown chakra could be fucking popping right now. Just saying. So the Queen of Rods, I want to read to you guys. I'm reusing this book called Guided Tarot. This has been like the very thing that's keeping me alive right now tarot has been the thing that's keeping me alive so thank you guys for your support the queen of wands upright key meanings creativity ambition this is about feminine energy of intuitive creativity and emotional intelligence combined with passion and heart-centered action are held within the queen of wands the elemental key combinations, this is something that I, I wanted to read to you guys. Water and fire combined. The queen of wands holds water and fire. Water signifies the queen's connection to love and emotions, while her place in the suit of wands connects her to her fire, which represents passion and action. So the question here, Sagittarius, what do you want to create by harnessing the passion and energy of the queen of wands? I suppose that this is something that some of you guys are feeling at this time, 333 on the timestamp. Um, you are in this energy of letting your fire ignite, okay? Um, in the last reading that we did for our Sagittarians, it was about spiritual warfare. If you guys have not seen that, please check that out. It's the last Sagittarius reading that I posted. Um, let's start us off with, yeah, let's do the tarot. What is going on for our Sagittarians? From the last reading, we had talked about spiritual warfare and where that had placed you with your mind, where that had placed you with your energy, Sag. So it continues to be a theme, Sagittarius, and now you have mastered seeing and feeling, seeing through deception, okay? This is the energy that I'm getting for you guys, some of you. This could be resonating a lot, connecting with you, and for some, it may not. This may not be your reading, and it's probably not a reading for everybody, and that's okay. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest out for the rest. 
So you have mastered, what I'm getting here is that you have mastered seeing through the deception. Okay. Ooh, it's the part of you, it's the value in you, Sagittarius. It's the spiritual aspect in you that sees right through people's deception, people's motives, people's intentions. This may not be the thing that you're very much agreeing at this time, just like how these cards are not coming out right now. And this is probably something that you have been reflecting on in this season, this dead winter that we're in. <laughs> oh man, spiritual warfare at its finest. Look at that. And then coming out of it like, with so much compassion and still having so much compassion, Sag, I don't think you're ever gonna go ever going to run out of compassion unless you keep yourself in your shadow and you just let your shadow flourish. Like nothing actually really flourishes when you're you're in your shadow. Nothing actually really grows when you're in your shadow, right? Nothing actually like thrives in that place. So we gotta take ourselves out of that place. And so perhaps while you are thriving and well thriving in letting your spiritual, your spiritual self grow, you know, you may have others criticize you, making judgments about you and, and where you are with your spiritual ascension. And not a lot of people are going to agree to this, Sag. So here you are, as you continue on mastering this side of you, mastering your practice of spirituality, you are now seeing things in a different perspective. You are now coming into what feels like even more nourishment on your part. This is deep in self-discovery. And I suppose it is to be expected. I'm getting that, um, it's a channeled energy that I'm getting, a channeled message. And it is to be expected to be treated as such. So let's say that if you were the one to express where you are with your spirituality other people may not agree to where you are with, with where you are with your awareness your consciousness and where you're going with your spiritual practice no, no one and and not everyone is going to agree with that okay and what it looks like here it looks like you are very well supported in this in this journey of spiritual practice or in some instances for you guys for some of you it's like you have mastered this spiritual journey you've you've mastered your um your spiritual practice okay and it is also helping other people you you give people that comfort that balance perhaps the temperance okay not only are you tapped into your creative side just like how the queen of wands carries the fire in her and the passion in her right not only are you carrying that side of you the creative aspect of you but you are also um, inspiring other people to do the practice they, they see that in you and they see the balance in you and so you're giving other people the means to to actually also take the action of ascension spiritual ascension you're not one i'm hearing you're not one to push this on anybody this is a choice that everybody also has to make on their own right but 
in you having to be so um so driven like purpose purpose driven people see this in you and it's inspiring them to be in alignment with their spirituality as well that's beautiful Sagittarius and we appreciate you and thank you for doing such things <laughs> because we all know that this place actually really fucking needs it right now um, you are one to bring that balance I'm getting that I'm getting that message a lot you're bringing balance to all your you're an inspiration okay You have proven to yourself, and this is a this is a, a battle that you've been having with yourself. It is never a battle with anybody. It is a battle that you have with yourself on a daily is the channeled message I'm getting here. I'm gonna pull up a I have the Art of War Oracle deck, and I want to use this for you guys' reading. And so as you um, ascend in, in this journey that you're in, it has also become very um, inspirational. It's been very inspirational to others around you. And they see this. And they may not be the one to tell you this. They may not see, they may not tell you the beauty that they see in you and they may not express this to you some of us just have a really hard time expressing things and that's okay you know that comes with a lot of practice as well and so as you ascend and as you let yourself immerse in this spiritual practice that you're in you are also very um you are also reaching out and being very inspiring to the rest of the people around you Prevention is better than the cure. We are all generals in our army of one. We are responsible for how we live and relate to others. As thwarting an enemy's plans is better than laying sage to their city. So looking after your health is better than waiting until you get sick. And managing your budget is better than falling into debt. Be responsible for yourself and for others. I was just telling our Aries. I was just doing their reading. I was I was um, explaining how where we are with our finance, like where we are with our financial stance. It all depends on where we are with our energy. And so that reminded me when I read after so looking after your health is better than waiting until you get sick and managing your budget is better than falling into debt it is also the means of caring for your energy soothing your energy keeping your energy at a higher frequency because when we keep our energy at a higher frequency we are also better to attract better things and only the good things in our life and that also affects our financial stability san Zhu said the highest form of generalship is to bulk the enemy's plans i hope i'm saying that right the next best is to prevent the junction of the enemy's forces the next in order is to attack the enemy's army in the fields and the worst policy of all is to besiege, besiege walled cities. It is when we start taking accountability for our actions and our responses. You know, it, it gets to a point, especially like this spiritual warfare that we're like we're experiencing in the world it is best to know when to rest and know when to fight does that make sense um 
it is best to know where you always are with your energy because you know not everybody could be trusted and that is sad right to say and i don't want to be the one to say that but that is also truth we have to also know and be discerning of where we are with our energy because not everyone is to be trusted keep your cool modern life can be stressful and is often full of disorder and hubbub including disagreements arguments or even worse keep calm you may need it the fastest way to lose focus is to lose your cool take a deep breath and think before acting and if you can keep your wits about you in the midst of a crisis it will serve you well that's exactly what i was saying about knowing when to rest and knowing when to fight it is having to not be so much in defense mode more so in having to be um in control and having integrity and and knowing that you can also choose to get yourself out of the battle you know it's saving yourself and saving your energy and not giving so much of your power away to people who don't really don't really have the spiritual knowledge and don't really sometimes have the moral compass so you're like fighting with unconscious, right? It's like conscious fighting with unconscious. Like there's no, what are you actually gaining from that? And what are they actually also gaining from that? Nothing. Choose your friends carefully. The chances are that you surround yourself with like-minded people and everything works out. But sometimes friends become distanced from us as do about workmates and other acquaintances. And without knowing their designs, how can you decide whether they are friend or foe? Remember, friends are not always allies and allies are not always friends. What I said about they may not even know, they may not even know where they are with themselves. So without knowing their designs, how can you decide whether they are friends or foe? And it all really comes down to knowing where you are with your energy and knowing where you are with your mind and having, having that self-control. You may be one, like, what I'm getting with this Fool card is, let's just say, like, you're just going about your day, right? You wake up, you, you do what you got to do. And then before before you go to work, you know, you're you're kind of just you're in this mood, you're in a good mood, you're you're starting a new day, right? And you're just going about your day. You're not really having to overthink anything. And you're just kind of going with the flow. And then all of a sudden somebody comes to you and then they give you shit. Some bullshit again. You know, it's just something again, right? And you using this for an example. And you're over here like ta ta da, I'm I'm my best today this is the best that i can be for today and i'm bright i'm cool i'm being cool to everybody you know being kind and compassionate and then all of a sudden you see somebody you come across somebody and they're spewing out their negativity there's there's you know they're not very much in control with their energy so they're like spewing out negativity they're talking about negativity and i don't even really want to use that word but you know let's just use it and you are doing your best not knowing this is you know again it is to be expected <laughs> you're just kind of like preparing you're, you, you've just kind of like prepared yourself at this point Sagittarius this, this is what I meant when I said it is to be expected you can just like see right through people's unwholesome you could just see right through people's deception you can just see through people's lies so it's like you have already gotten to a place in your life I take this as it resonates where like you've prepared yourself for this you just you just want to have a good day and you don't want anybody else to take that energy away from you and so you prepare yourself you've mastered yourself to be this person so now you have enough of that energy for you and you have enough for that person so you might have been the one to 
bring balance into this person's life. You now just saved somebody's life. They're coming to you with negativity and they're spewing out their, your, their story to you. And you, you're over here like, okay, let me just keep my cool. Let me be a friend. I will be a friend to you. I will listen to you, right? And it may not be a friend. You know, it, it, your coworkers, whomever you are talking to, interacting with, but you are one to bring that balance to somebody because you know you have the human intelligence. You are being discerning of where you are with yourself and where this person is with themselves. But you are one bringing that balance to them. You have more than enough. It is to be expected is what I'm getting here. That's the channeled message. And you may be that one, that powerhouse that 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 you you know you may be that powerhouse to your friends that that give them the balance that they need when they're going through something or your fa a family member going through something you may be that powerhouse to that person who is giving them that balance so it's like you are that saving grace perhaps you are that one who gives balance and quality to people like they see you in your integrity and so in you being in your integrity and you being discerning and where you are with yourself you're giving that balance to the rest although you may feel a little used but it's not being used when you are the one wanting to give if that makes sense i don't know if that's making any sense but i'm hoping that makes sense for some of you I'm going to pull up some numbers here before we wrap it up. Sagittarius, thank you for your continued love and support. I have been reading you guys' um, comments, and that has been giving me motivation to continue on with this channel. And I so very much appreciate you guys. And you have no idea how much I appreciate you guys. All of my informa information will be in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can email me. All of that information will also be in the description box below. What? Some numbers here for you guys. Numbers. Oh my, I'm going to take this one and this one. The number six, the number nine, and then, ooh, Aries got ace two. So lots to come for you here, Sagittarius. It is to be expected. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next, Sagittarius. Thank you guys for tuning in and thank you for being here supporting me. Take care of yourselves and happy new year. Welcome to 2024. I'll see you in the next. Bye.